In the middle of 2024, a Ferrari executive received a voice call. It sounds exactly like Benedetto Vigna, the CEO of the Italian supercar maker. Same tone, same accent, and the same pace of speech. But what made it so jarring was that the voice wasn't his, it was generated by AI. And that is the reality we're stepping into. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. With just a few seconds of your voice, AI can recreate everything. Your tone, your emotion, and even your breathing patterns. It can replicate your identity so precisely that if someone hears it, they might believe it's you. Because when voices can be copied, truths can be rewritten. So now we have to ask, if AI can sound exactly like us, what happens when we can no longer tell the difference? Here's something that might make you think about that question even more. The opening scene you just heard was entirely made using generative AI. That's right, that voice wasn't mine, and it wasn't a human voice either. It was AI generated. But before you jump to conclusions, this doesn't mean that all the voices in our videos, especially in our latest uploaded here, were AI. Let me break it down for you. There were three voices in that feature length video. The first one is a real person in the real world where he's watching a journey of Kardashev. And that voice was mine. The second one is a person inside the simulation, which is also another human voice. And the last one, is a giant computer that oversees everything from above. The one that sounded deep, mysterious, and very much like Jarvis, was the one that used AI-generated voice. Welcome, Harry. But what really made the voice feel real was because of the world we built around it. There's pacing. There's a specific mood we wanted to portray. And most importantly, there's a story we wanted to tell. Let's talk about how we actually created that computer-generated voice because the voice you heard wasn't recorded in a studio or performed by an actor. It's simply using an AI tool we've been working with throughout this project. It runs on a text-to-speech feature powered by a platform called Fish Audio, which also happens to be the sponsor of this breakdown video. So let's take a closer look at how it works. To try it yourself, just open the website fish.audio. Once you're in, you'll see a clean, straightforward interface that offers a few core features. Text to speech, where you can turn plain text into realistic audio using voices that sound like well-known figures. Make sure you subscribe to Beyond Ideas. Unraveling the mystery of our reality one video at a time. That's right, folks. Voice cloning, which allows you to replicate your own voice by uploading a short sample and letting Fish Audio do the rest. And speech to text, which lets you upload audio and get the spoken words transcribed instantly. Let's start with the basic one. Head over to this menu and you'll find a list of available voice models. SpongeBob SquarePants, Donald Trump, Elon Musk, and many more. You can also explore the eight different languages supported, giving you even more flexibility depending on your project. If we jump into the text-to-speech feature, here you see two options, but for now we're focusing on instant speech. You can just click Start from Scratch and you'll see that there are two main sections in here, where on the left side, you can enter or edit the text you want to convert into speech. And on the right side, you'll find the settings panel and a history of your generated voices. In the settings, you can select, change, or remove the voice you want to use. Scroll down and you'll find the voice model. Remember that always make sure you're using the latest version for the best results. Also note that these advanced settings like volume, speed, temperature, and top P are only available to premium users, but they give you more control over how the voice sounds. Let's try a sample here. You can type the script you've written before, and you can also add expressions like this, this, and this, and you'll get the result by clicking Generate and Play. If it needs more work or you just want a different variation, you can hit Regenerate and try again. Let's move on to something even more powerful, the voice cloning feature. This tool lets you replicate your own voice, tone, pace, and speech style with impressive accuracy. Start by choosing your voice's privacy setting, public, unlisted, or private. 
let's go with private. You can also add a profile image, give your voice model a name, write a short description, and tag it for easy reference. Next, upload your audio sample, or if you prefer, record your voice in real time. Let's listen to a quick example here. Every star. When it's ready, click Use Voice and enter your script again. Tweak the settings however you like and follow the same steps as in the text-to-speech tool. Click Generate to hear the output and regenerate if you want to hear different versions. And finally, we're diving into the last feature of Fish Audio, speech-to-text. It's a really straightforward tool. You can either upload your audio file or record your voice directly. Within seconds, your spoken words are transcribed into text. Just like that, your voice becomes readable. At this point, everything is in our hands, our choices, and our vision. This whole process has made us rethink what storytelling really means. Because it's no longer just about who's speaking, it's about how precisely that voice can be shaped. How deeply we can embed emotion, not just through words, but through the sound waves we now have the power to control. So if you ask me, is it powerful? Absolutely yes. The fact that we can shape voices, emotions, even reality itself says a lot about where we are. And yeah, it's messy, but that doesn't mean we can't handle it. We just have to be a bit smarter and a bit more aware. When a voice sounds real, people believe it. That's the simple truth. And today, that truth is being tested. Because with tools like generative AI, anyone can create a voice that sounds convincingly human. And when that power becomes widespread, the consequences aren't just about how technology works, but they affect how people's trust can be shaken in seconds. And a fake voice in the right tone can shift public opinion, damage reputations, or spark real-world panic. It means we've entered an era where hearing something is no longer proof that it's true. But here's what matters most. It's not the technology that decides where this goes. We do. You can be as creative as you want, but with that, you also have the potential to amplify truth and tell stories that resonate more deeply than ever before. So yes, the challenge for creators is real, but so is the opportunity. Because those who recognize this shift early, who treat it not just as creative power, but as a responsibility, they're the ones who will help shape the future of media. And if you're still watching this, chances are you're already one of them. And with the right intention, the line between real and artificial doesn't have to blur our vision, it can sharpen it.